Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Thursday, August 3rd, 2023, and we are back with our NFL best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit notification bell so you never miss a pick. Uh, we're going after our first 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, so I'm really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to, first off, guys, I don't know if you all can tell, but I'm fired up NFL's back. I know Hall of Fame games aren't really the NFL. You know, it's going to be a lot of backups and stuff and shit. But here's the thing. For me, I am just so fired up the NFL's back. We had a huge winning year with them last year. We, did, we went up 83 units last year, hitting our best bet 69.8% of the time. Um, I'm just sorry. I'm fired up for you back. And even though it's the Hall of Fame game, we're going to go with two picks today. These are going to be for fun plays. What I mean by that is, like, I'm barely putting anything on these because, I mean, who the fuck knows? You know, it's, it's the preseason. But I do like these. Did some research. I'm loving them. So we have two picks today in the NFL. Let's get started with um, my favorite bet of the day um, is going to be the Browns money line plus 115. First off, for me, the Browns' depth is better. I mean, people are overrating the Jets right now because – Aaron Rodgers is obviously on the Jets. But the problem the Jets have is they don't have an offensive line. They just don't. It's one of the worst offensive lines in the entire league. They know almost nothing to fix it over the offseason. Um, on top of that, Aaron Rodgers is not going to play. Zach Wilson is going to play. And as everyone knows from last year, everyone loves Zach Wilson. They don't, just to be clear. He's horrible. Um, and on top of that, you, when you look at the skill guys on the um, on the Jets side of things, right? Brees Hall, not going to play. He's on the pup list. He's not going. Um, Garrett Wilson will not be playing. He's got a little bit of an ankle. He'll be fine, but he's not going to play in this game. On top of that, your other who's your who's the rest of your depth chart? I mean, Alan Lazard, I guarantee you he doesn't play because he's a, he's a first stringer, so he's not going to play. Um, Randall Cobb, he's old as he, he's old as time. He's not going to play. McCall Hardman might play, maybe, but I doubt it. So you're talking about Irvin Charles, Xavier Gibson, Alex Erickson, and Jerome Cap are their are, are their guys they're running with. I I just don't really see how that goes. Plus, they have Zach Wilson, Tim Boyle, and Chris Strebler are the guys who are probably going to play today. Zach Wilson probably plays maybe a, maybe maybe a series, maybe uh, maybe maybe one or two. Give him some run. Plus, I mean, Michael Carter's not going to play either. So you're talking about Zonovan Knight in Israel. I, I don't even know how to say this guy's last name. And with, on top of that, when you have a terrible offensive line, I think the Browns are going to eat him up because the Browns have a strong like have a strong front four on, on their starting side, but they also have some good depth as well. Um, and listen, the Browns are not going to play Deshaun Watson, obviously, and not only are they playing their backup, but they are going to play Kellen Mond, who, as you all know from a Texas A&M, put up some huge, huge numbers. And this is the and by the way, the Hall of Fame game is the perfect place for a great college quarterback to look incredible and look like he belongs in the NFL. Kellen Mond is there, and they have DTR from UCLA last year. Deon, De, um, Dorian Thompson-Robinson is absolutely electric. And will he be a great quarterback in the NFL? Probably not. But for preseason, this dude's going to be a fucking electric. Because first off, he's fast as hell. He has a really, really strong arm. He's a little inconsistent. But like those things, being hyper-athletic, having a really strong arm against really basic defensive coverages. Because there's no way on earth the Jets are going to be throwing anything out that they're actually going to use um, during the uh, during the year. There's just no way. It's, just, it's, it's, it's literally impossible um, for that. So he's going to have basic coverages. He won't have to think too much. He'll be able to use his athleticism. Plus, you know, most most teams only are only only have two real quarterbacks on the roster. DTR is going to have to go out and make this team. So the fact is, I think he's going to get a lot of run. That's going to help him a ton versus the Jets defense that again doesn't have a lot of depth. They've got a really good like starting like like a starting eleven, but. I don't know about their depth whatsoever. They're going to keep very, very basic defensive coverages. So for me, I, I really like the Browns here to get this win because they have the more, they, they don't have more skilled guys, but they have more guys that are, they actually I do think they have more skilled guys, but they have more guys that are more suited for the preseason. Like I'm a Redskins fan. So for me, I mean, I remember Colt Brennan absolutely lighting it up and everyone thought this guy was the next thing. With a guy named Frank Mason Jr. Who, or yeah, Frank Mason Jr. Who was this running back every year. He was a fourth stringer that everyone thought was going to be the next big thing. But it turns out he was just really athletic versus guys who shouldn't be in the league and I see that being the case for the Browns here today they have a lot of good players that will look great in preseason but aren't going to translate well in the regular season so I'm going to go with the Browns here on the money line plus 115 plus if you're going to take a flyer on a team you may as well bet the plus money and then also I'm going to take the over 33 and a half everything I just mentioned here I think there's going to be a lot of turnovers I just think that's going to happen because of a bad Jets offensive line I don't see this game um being with um I don't see this game being a 17-10 game. I just I just don't see it. I don't see it happening. I think this game's gonna be like 
I don't know, 20 to 14, something in that range. I think these both these teams can score a little bit, especially with the Browns playing maybe in the, in the second half. I see the Jets scoring a little bit. So I'm going to go with the over 33 and a half there in this spot. Um, so, the, so to recap what we have, by the way, what we have right now, we have the Browns money line plus 115. And we're going to take the over 33 and a half. And we're going to be doing some preseason videos throughout this month. I'm obviously going to be sticking more towards college football and, um, you know, the regular season for the NFL. But we'll do some preseason here and there. But these are all going to be for fun anyway because the preseason is such a crapshoot. Um, and so that's what we got. So, guys, let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together. Let's go make some money. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you all check out our MLB video.